Turkart not only makes it easy to sell subscriptions, it makes it even easier to manage those subscriptions with a powerful set of features at your fingertips to make managing your subscriptions a breeze. Let me show you them right now. Now, first, let's pull up our list of subscriptions in our store. It's just underneath the Shirtcart menu item right here where it says subscriptions. And this is going to show a list of your subscriptions, including the status of those subscriptions. So I'll go ahead and click into to the first one right here, which happens to be a monthly subscription. Now, when you're selling subscriptions, there's a variety of management tasks for subscriptions that are inevitable to everyone selling subscriptions. Don't worry about it though, because Surecart has considered all of these different scenarios and put all the options at your fingertips on managing them. And keep in mind, these management options are not commonly found in other tools, but Surecart has them all there for you. So let's look at some of these situations that are guaranteed going to happen. So here's a scenario. One of your subscribers emails you and says, you know, I'm having some money troubles and I'm not going to be able to make that next payment. Can you change my renewal date? Can you push it back a week? Now, it's super easy to do that inside a shirt card. So you would just pull up the subscription. Over here on the top right, we have this actions button. You would click on that and you choose this option here that says change renewal date. You choose that and simply choose what the next renewal date will be. So for this subscription, the next renewal is on June 1st. So in this case, if they wanted the payment date changed to June 9th, I could click on June 9th and then click right here where it says update subscription. Now this option, all that it does is change that date. You can push it out into the future, you can make it sooner. All it does is change the date. So if you have integrations with the tied to the subscription, the buyer or the subscriber does not lose access to any of those integrations. This simply changes that renewal date. And this is also very useful in the case where maybe you sold a subscription, uh, it's a monthly subscription, and you want it to renew on the first of every month. Well, you can't just wait for people to buy it on the first they're going to buy it all throughout the month. You can go in here and you can change the renewal date to the first of the month. Now, another very common scenario is someone has a subscription with you, but people go on vacation and they're going to be on vacation all summer long. They want to stay your customer. They want to, to continue with their subscription. They just want it paused during this two month period that they're gonna be out of town. This is very easy with Surecart. This is very impossible for most other e-commerce tools. So in this scenario, you'll go over here to the actions button, choose the option for pause subscription. Now pausing subscription will remove access if you've granted any kind of integration with Surecart. It's going to remove that and it will give it back on the renewal date. The other thing to make note of, when you're pausing a subscription, it doesn't pause immediately. It pauses the subscription at the end of the term the person has already paid for. So this person has paid for May 1st to June 1st. And so it's giving me this little message here that this will automatically pause the subscription on June 1st because that's how much time this buyer has already paid for. So I am choosing a date out uh, beyond past that time frame. So in this case, they're going to be gone for June and uh, July. And I want the renewal to be right here in August on August 1st. So I would choose August 1st and then you can click pause. Now I'm doing it in this one just to show you what it looks like when you pause a subscription like this. Here's a badge that wasn't there before. It says pauses on June 1st. And then right here's a note that says it's going to restore on August 1st. So this is how you can pause a subscription and push out that date into the future and remove all access in between. The next scenario is pretty typical or obvious, someone might want to cancel their subscription. Now that's very easy as well to cancel a subscription. So let's go back to our action button. 
And for this, actually, I have to remove the pausing because I just paused it. So let's say don't pause. Let's res resume the subscription, get it back to how it was a second ago. Now I can actually cancel it. I'll go to the actions. I'll click on cancel subscription and you're presented with two options. You can cancel the subscription immediately. So any access or integration would be cut off immediately or you can choose at the end of the current period. So this will not remove access right now. It'll remove it once the period that they've paid for has expired. So in this case, if I choose at the end of the current period, let's just do that. I'll click on cancel subscription. The, the period would go to June 1st. So you can see right here, cancels on June 1st, so this subscriber, in this case, will have access to everything until June 1st, then all access is removed and they will not be charged again in the future. Now there's one more really amazing capability in SureCart that is very unique to SureCart. And this is the case where someone has canceled their subscription. It's actually canceled. It's not like this one right here that cancels on June 1st. It's already canceled. SureCart actually allows you to restore a subscription. And this is something that most other e-commerce platforms just can't do. You have to have the buyer resubscribe, but it's a whole heck of a lot easier for you to just click a button and restore it. So let me show you how that works. So first I'm going to go here. I'm going to cancel the cancellation that I did just a moment ago. Now I'm going to actually cancel it effective immediately. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose cancel subscription. I'm going to choose immediately and I'll click on cancel subscription. So now this subscription is completely canceled. You can see right here, it is canceled. They've asked for it to be canceled, but they contact me later saying they want their subscription again. So you can go up to the options and you can choose a restoral date. Or in this case, you would click on restore now. Now, when it's canceled, completely canceled like this, and you're restoring it, you are basically telling SureCart to charge them for the next term right now. So that's why there is a notification here that says the customer is going to immediately be charged the amount of the subscription again. And so you would click on restore. It's going to go ahead and process that charge or attempt to process the charge and then restore the subscription as you can see right here. And that's how you can have full control and management over the subscriptions that you're selling right here on your website. And it's very easy. Every scenario is pretty much covered with these options that we've made for you.